guys and my valued viewers welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before, big news for Dinar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. The idea of exposing the real effective exchange rate RIA and making necessary adjustments over time is fundamental to a country's economic policy, particularly in terms of maintaining currency stability and responding to economic shifts. When a central bank or a financial authority decides to adjust the RIA, it's acknowledging that the exchange rate must reflect not only the nominal value of the currency, but also its actual purchasing power relative to other currencies, considering inflation differentials, trade balances, and other economic fundamentals. This is particularly important in countries like Iraq, where the Iraqi dinar IQD has long been subject to government controls and external factors like oil prices, regional instability, and international sanctions. If Iraqi authorities were to expose the rear of the dinar and initiate a period of observation and adjustment, it would likely be part of a broader strategy to align the currency's value more closely with economic realities. Currently, the exchange rate of the dinar is influenced by the central bank's interventions and is not fully reflective of market forces. Introducing a more transparent and market-driven exchange rate would imply that the currency could either appreciate or depreciate based on a combination of domestic factors such as inflation, productivity and economic growth, and external factors such as global oil prices geopolitical conditions, and the trade balance. A key impact of this shift would be on the value of the Iraqi dar. If the RIA indicates that the currency is undervalued, this could lead to a revaluation of the dinar over time. However, such a revaluation would not happen overnight, but would be subject to gradual adjustments as the economy responds to the new exchange rate environment. The Iraqi central bank would need to carefully manage this transition to avoid causing undue volatility in the currency market or creating inflationary pressures. This period of monitoring and adjustment would allow the authorities to observe how businesses, consumers and investors react to changes in the exchange rate and to make incremental policy changes to mitigate any negative effects. However, a potential revaluation or any adjustment to the dinar's exchange rate is not solely dependent on internal economic factors. The dinar is heavily tied to the price of oil, which constitutes a significant portion of Iraq's GDP and government revenues. As such, fluctuations in global oil prices would significantly affect the dinar's value. If oil prices were to remain stable or increase, Iraq's fiscal position could improve, leading to a stronger currency. Conversely, a drop in oil prices could put downward pressure on the dinar, prompting the central bank to make further adjustments to stabilize the currency. Furthermore, societal and cultural changes also play a role in how exchange rates evolve over time. Changes in population demographics, consumption patterns, and political stability can influence economic conditions, which in turn affect the currency's value. As Iraq continues to rebuild and develop its economy, changes in these areas will necessitate ongoing adjustments to the exchange rate to ensure it remains aligned with economic realities. For example, if Iraq successfully diversifies its economy and reduces its reliance on oil, the dinar's value might become less volatile and the need for drastic revaluations could diminish over time. In conclusion, exposing the real effective exchange rate and committing to a period of observation and adjustment could have significant implications for the value of the Iraqi dinar. While this process might lead to a revaluation of the currency, it would be gradual and dependent on a range of economic, political and societal factors. 
The central bank would need to carefully manage this transition to ensure that the benefits of a more accurate and market-driven exchange rate are realized without causing undue economic instability.